drop in heroin overdoses in Nassau County. News 12 Long Island's Eileen the Palmer has the numbers. All of a sudden, the car was out of control. Ryan Tortorso says he's always prepared. As the chief of the Farmingdale Village Fire Department, he says within the last year, he had to use Narcan to save three different people who were overdosing on heroin. It's been residences at a construction site, and it's just somebody just driving. Tortorso says in recent weeks, it seems like things are improving. And today, the Nassau County Police Commissioner announced that fewer people are overdosing on heroin. Patrick Ryder says so far this year, fatal heroin overdoses are down 7% countywide. And non-fatal heroin overdoses are down 30%. We are hitting the county from all parts. Once we identify the hot area, we come in with enforcement. For the last four days, we've been in the Farmingdale area. We've made over 50 arrests, 45 of which are drug-related. And Nassau County officials say another indicator that heroin use is down is that first responders haven't needed to use Narcan as often. There's been about 200 Narcan saves so far as compared to 755 in all of last year. We're going to be about 150 to 200 less if we keep this pace. Steve Chasman with the drug treatment program LICAD says the new stats are promising. So I think community education and prevention has played a big role as both county police departments in getting the drugs off the street. I think we've seen some great legislation and money allotments from Albany. But he cautions. But I don't think it's a time to rest on our laurels. I think we need to continue to educate young people. And statistics from Suffolk County also show a decline in heroin and other opioid overdoses as compared to last year, although officials there caution that the numbers are not yet finalized as some causes of death are still pending. Final toxicology results. Stone.